this boat. And the reason is because the bottom is flat, completely flat. So when you go into a turn, you can just keep, even though the boat may turn, it can still s keep sliding forward or sliding sideways or whatever. So these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, chines or uh, I call them ribs. <laughs> but anyway, we're putting these on here so the boat goes straight. And also, so whenever you land on sand, it hits these guys, which are kind of uh, sacrificial. And it doesn't scratch all the, the paint off of the bottom of the plywood, which is the expensive stuff. I mean, we can we can remove this and put a new one on, but taking the plywood off and putting new plywood on, that's that's massive. So that's why we're doing this. Uh, two reasons. So the boat turns nicely and uh, follows a straight line and also uh, as a sacrificial uh, piece of wood for when you uh, hit the sand and and that uh, on the beach or scratch something whatever so we will be back with more chines on the three cut boat bye for now everybody look what we got we got chines baby chines on the flat bottom so help us turn and go straight because we got three holes that we have to all be singing the same song so we put these chines on here and that I think will help and turning that's a lot of boat to turn too it's wide it's going to be about tw um, about 12 foot wide I think from the outer hole to the other side of the outer hole so anyway so we got these chines we just nailed them down and epoxied them so after that we got to you know shape them I'm, I got around the edges and around the front we'll cut them off like right here and this one goes up further there's a little black line yeah right there and this one will cut right there so we are good to go with the chines for now and we're also working on the trim on the back of the boat here so this is the trim here this trim here goes on the inside Do you want me to hold it? well where's the one that we just cut oh right here oh here here Okay, so this is the trim here. This goes on the inside of the boat here to kind of strengthen this this wall because it's only quarter inch thick. And then this one here, this one here goes on the outside. Honey, yeah, go ahead and put that on, on, on there and then I'll get back so everybody can kind of see how that goes on there. See, like that. So that'll be trimmed out like that. Uh, and that gives it a lot more beef this one inch thickness here now across here so that's real stable and sturdy so that's what we've been doing today so far then it's lunchtime so we're gonna go get some lunch and we'll be back with more trimer and building from my paradise on Italian Island bye for now we're putting on the epoxy now to put on the side trim so we have some lines here that are drawn on these and they're making a nice neat epoxy job here. See, see the other side's on. It's, and that's on both sides we got them, so that's why they're epoxying on both sides. They, these guys are brother brothers who are boat builders. And there's a third brother too somewhere. But he's not uh, working on this project. And I don't even know if he builds boats. But this is uh, once the... Uh, uh, trim is on here. So that just kind of helps uh, frame the stairs and give a little rigidity to the uh, quarter inch plywood there. So now it's one inch thick where all this uh, uh, trim is. So we are trimming, trimming this bad boy out by the back stairs. The other one's done. I'll show you it. We got it done today. Also, we had to cut all this stuff and and uh, line it up and all that. So this one's done. As you can see, it's kind of dark here. I'm going to try to adjust my light meter. There you go. A little bit. So now we got the trim around the back steps here. And uh, this one's in the sunshine. So, you, well, kind of in the sunshine. You might be able to see it a little bit better. But there you go. You can see that one. That one over there or something on that side that's easy to see but so we got the trim work done we got the stairs in yesterday 
and it stays in there. We got the the uh, chines on the bottom of this one here. We need to put the chines on the bottom of this one, which I guess we'll do next after that. And then by that time, it will probably, well, I don't know if we'll get the chines done because it's for the sawdust everywhere. So it's about 4.30 right now. No, it's about, it's a quarter till four. Yeah, quarter till four. So yeah, it's all blurry, but anyway, believe me, it's quarter till four. So yeah, I think we got enough time to do the chines on the other one after they clamp those on because that's all they got to do is clamp them and nail them after they put the epoxy on both sides and then we'll flip this bad boy upside down and put the chines on him and then we should be good for, done for the day and tomorrow we'll probably have to figure out we might start working on uh, you know the connection across all all three we'll see what we do then uh we'll have to think about that uh, tonight before i fall asleep so <laughs> we'll be back with more Trimming out the sugar scoops on the trimaran, the three cut trimaran from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Uh, Bye for now. We're putting the trim on the outside. There's the uh, sugar scoops. We got a mask on, so it's hard to. I took it off. Okay, so, anyway, getting that all nailed down. And it's all epoxy on, on, on there. It's our epoxy. We just got putty nice and we pretty much coat it as good as we can. The other side's on there. You can see it. And then we got to grind it and sand it all down smooth. But I kind of did a little bit of that beforehand. But now we're going to just kind of fill in the gaps with the epoxy here. And then we'll have something that we can grind on when we're done. So we are going to put in the trim. There you go. You can see it now on the side of the sugar scoop. And we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. We got trim on the sugar scoops. Bye for now. We just kind of angled the chines and kind of rounded them at the ends. I think I need to put a little more angle on this one here, right there. But it's just kind of an eyeballing, just doing getting these chines on here. And uh, so that's that's what she's going to look like there. And again, what I said before, these are to keep it uh, help it steer straight and turn better and also uh, as a guard as a kind of like a sacrificial guard uh, when you hit sand or come up on a beach or you know, something like that so we just put the chines on and got them all smoothed out and we will be back with more chines on a trimaran in my paradise on battalion island one of the more tedious tasks to do is go around and put putty on all <laughs> the nails uh, heads and stuff so they're sealed up good and as, as you can see they're all along here what I do is I just get putty and stick it on there and slide a big strip and it's done you got to do one at a time but I just slap it on and then sand it you know sand it down before we paint I'm just kind of a knock it out kind of guy. These guys like do one at a time. So anyway, they are cleaning up the epoxy here on this one. On that rear uh, sugar scoop trim. And next, like I said, I think we're going to put the chines on this guy. And then we'll probably be done for the day. I think we'll be uh, good to go. So anyway, things are working out really well, amazingly well. Everything seems to be coming together day after day. We don't seem to run into issues other than uh, uh, just how to do more than one way to skin a cat, basically, type of thing. And so uh, once uh, we sort out what the best way is, then we'll uh, just jump on it and handle it, and it's done deal. So we 
are finishing up the trim on the sugar scoops and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now.